Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the e-hat, that's a hi-hat synthesizer. Yeah, and let me show you how you can use it. Okay, this is the e-hat synthesizer and um, let's go over that device. So on off knob there you have the preset option where you can uh, choose some of the presets, the title, the remote controls and the modulation um, area. And uh, there are several areas in this um, e-hat and let's get started with uh, this one, with this with these three options. This is one, the attack. So I have a little clip over here. So this is from a normal envelope generator, the attack. Then you have the decay over here. And then there's a, an option um, mostly overlooked over here, where you can define the curve. Do it more concave. Or more convex. Or linear, like that. Then you have a comp filter over here. And uh, is it loud enough? I don't know. It could be it's not that loud enough. I hope so. It's now loud enough. I think so, yes. Then there's a comp filter where you could um, choose the frequency, the feedback, and the mix with the mix knob how much this uh, comp filter is used. And you see here uh, as well the red dot that you can move around over here. So, and you hear it more like that. Where you go in the positive direction of the feedback, then it's a little bit like that. Then in this display, you have a, a general um, low pass filter, a uh, high pass filter, sorry, low cut filter or high pass filter, where you can. Oh, wait. Not that much. Where you could move the, this around so you um, hear that there's more low part or low signal in that uh, in that sound. And if you go far more up, there's less low um, low frequency signal over there, right? Uh, like a normal EQ, and there's um, as well the Q factor, like where you can do some resonances. Like that, for example, without a resonance. This is a concept that you know from a normal um, EQ. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, it's like that. If you just use an EQ plus, for example, and you have something like um, this a low cut filter, then you could put something like a resonance over here, so the Q filter, and put it up or can put it down. So at this point. That these frequencies are a little bit emphasized or much emphasized. Okay, and down here we have a, um, a FM modulation, uh, this blue point. It's a frequency selection. Then you have the decay over here, where this whole FM sound gets a little, little bit longer or not. And then there is a modulation am uh, amount for the FM, because FM is frequency modulation. So you hear the slower um, modulation, and if you put that up, the modulation gets faster. And this is the amount how much it is modulated. If you have no amount, there's no modulation over there. 
And this is the mix where you uh, mix between uh, this area and, and this area. So you can just use the FM. We could configure something like sticks or something in, in, in that direction. Then for sure you have the FX container, the velocity, sensiti velocity sensitivity, or just velocity, then the width. So sometimes you want to, uh, to have your hi-hats like in a, a specific position, or um, sometimes you want to have it like more pent uh, in a stereo field like that. So it doesn't get, get in the way with other um, instruments like snare or something in, in that direction and for sure the output level. So this is a completely e-hi-hat and uh, one thing I want to um, show you, I did another video for that, if you um, programming the hi-hats, there's a, a little, let me say, workflow tip from, from my side. Um, because I started to put the um, different uh, velocities in, in different places because it doesn't matter if you put the hi-hat over to an um, E2 or an F2 or an G sharp 2 or something uh, because it's always the, sa the same um, sound, the same note. But um, I use the this piano roll and put different... Um, velocities on a, on a different note because if I want to um, choose the loudest note in my in my selected pattern I just have to click on that note or on, on this note or for example on this note and I have um, all the notes selected so I can use like doing this or uh, pressing uh, control and shift and do it directly on the note for example and even if I put that on the same loudness like the one above, so I could try and could go um, every time back like, ah, it's better going like this. So there's a little, little bit more control with doing that. There's a little um, uh, workflow tip. And this helped me uh, sometimes even to see the velocities in a better way when I, for example, don't have this open the um, expressions so I, I could see every time the different velocities so that's the video about the um, e hat i hope you liked it and if yes i would ask you kindly to do that because that helps me uh, and let the channel grow and i'm always happy if you give me some feedback in the comments that would be very nice from you and then okay i hope i see you soon again see you stay healthy ciao ciao